What's up guys, just wanted to give you a little bit of a update before this video and essentially I got a little bit carried away with this game because I've been loving it so much and I've essentially recorded the entire series uh, before you've started to see it. Um, don't want you guys to think that that doesn't mean I don't want your feedback and comments, this is a new game to me and I've been learning as I go so I'm sure I've made a lot of mistakes to say the least. So please feel free to berate me and let me know what those mistakes are and if there is sufficient interest in this game I'd love to do a second series of it where I do episode by episode and allow you guys to comment and be a bit more involved with the process so just want to let you guys know that so that you don't think that I'm ignoring you entirely what's up guys and girls this is Timmy and welcome back to oxygen not included so you find me at the beginning of day two and Madison and Budney are very busy where is OG what is OG doing oh, OG's just finishing up over here that's fine, OG. You carry on. You are being most helpful. Um, so if you didn't watch the last episode, I very much strongly suggest you stop this video now and go back and watch it. Uh, just because this is game is... It's simple in some ways, but it, it has a fair amount of complexity to it. And I explained a lot of it in the last episode, so I'm not going to be doing it again in this one. Today, though, we are going to be cracking on. We're trying to get some power generation going because I feel like that's the next thing we are going to be needing. Um, this here... Uh, it slows them down a bit when they move across it like that, which I don't know if I like too much, but go buddy, go poop. Uh, I should put in some flooring there straight away, I think, just in case anyone misses the toilet. Don't want it for, actually, I was going to, the reason I didn't put that in there was because I wanted to do this, this, this pyramid idea. Uh, cancel. Cancel all that, please. Right, um. So yeah, we're gonna well, let's just let's just do it, and we'll just see what happens. <laughs> basically, uh, that's six. Uh, ah, no, stop, stop, don't don't put it there. There we go. Let's just do that and see how we get on. Now I got a little bit of issue of extending it on the other side, just because uh, these are all vacuum and carbon dioxide. So going into there right now is probably not going to be much fun for my colonists. Dig that out. I don't know why stuff keeps collapsing. It's really annoying. Uh, algae is there. So we need to decide on height. Now, generally, most things are either two block or three block high. So one, two, three, four. We could replace this layer here. In fact, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to uh, go into dig. We need to get rid of that. That then becomes tiles. Right, that's the start of uh, the next floor. Like I, said, I may put a ladder straight through the middle. Um, this, uh, uh, if this becomes a major pain, I'll just fill in these blocks. But the reason I want to do this is to say is it will encourage the nasty gases to flow downwards. Is this vacuum here? It is. Once we, once we start to get a bit of a build up of carbon dioxide in the lower sections, I'm going to build dig through here and start using this just as a temporary store for the uh, nasty gases. Uh, this is nice clean oxygen here, which I should probably dig into at some point. Uh, and there's oxalite and algae there. Um, and eventually though, the, the main one will probably end up being down here somewhere. Uh, I don't know if that is... No, oh, that is fresh water though, yeah. So we have a little bit of... Oh shit, we still haven't dug this out. I need him to dig this out so we can get access to... Uh, oh, he's doing it now. I missed a ladder block there. Um, yeah, once we get access to that, we can then get access to water, which means we can get there with food. Right. So that should work because that's going to go up another level from where we are, which will give us our fourth thing. Right, so let us get power. We might as well just put power generation up here, I think. Uh, we are going to extend up probably another layer. I don't know if it's going to be quite seven wide like that one is. It might be slightly less. But let's just stick one there and then we're going to need batteries. Needs copper ore. We have a ship ton of copper ore right now so let's just do that. Um, oh, and then we will need to wire these in. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So this is like a little hamster wheel thing which basically people run on and generate the electricity and that is our first generation uh, power production which I quite like. Um, okay, let's just Ah, it, I keep expecting it's going to be a, like, you drag, and it's like, when you let go, it selects it, but it's not. It's like a paintbrush, so as I, I could literally just go, like that, and it would put tiles everywhere. 
Uh, so I need to be a bit more careful with that. There we go. Right, that'll line that one up. And we could probably just put this one in as well. Uh, except for that I don't want to get rid of that oxalite right now. I kind of wish dig was G. What is, uh, was D? Oh, D is, of course it's not, because D is part of WASD, you freaking muppet to me. Uh, right, so now we can actually look at jobs, and I only want my awesome athlete, Madison, to be doing the power uh, generation. You two don't need to do art combat. Uh, hang on. Uh, okay, <laughs> that, I, I'm pausing there because I genuinely, for a moment, didn't actually think that there was combat in this. I mean, obviously there's this douchebag here, which I'm guessing maybe I have to kill at some point, but yeah, I didn't really think there was combat in this, so that's a good thing to know. Uh, okay, so what's going to be most important right now, food or oxygen? I mean, generally... It, based on the rule of threes, is it uh, three minutes of oxygen, three days of water, three weeks of food? It would imply that I will die a lot sooner of running out of oxygen. Why has he got like something on his back? Where are you off to? Oh, he's going to build that tile, isn't he? Yeah, that's clever. They actually carry the uh, resources on their back. I quite like that. Uh, I genuinely think that he probably should put a. Uh, Thing. I, I gotta be honest, I am amazed at how lucky I've been with this starting one. Um, I was tempted to sort of restart a few times just to try and get a decent one, uh, but I just thought, well, we'll see. I'll just start and just see what happens. And like, yeah, this is the best starting thing. Like, look at the size of this, this cavern that I've got here, which is entirely oxygen. Get rid of that. I don't know if they'll be able to reach that actually. Uh, how far are we off getting someone? 600 seconds, which in my basic maths is 10 minutes. So hopefully today, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I assume I didn't miss somebody. Uh, it was 1,500 seconds, so it's half an hour-ish. So yeah, no, I didn't miss any, I don't think. Right, speed up, everyone. Rush, 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 rush. Definitely digging down. Yeah, there's some really nice oxygen supplies everywhere in this. Okay, cool. We have now tapped into that lower oxygen supply and given access to that water. I feel like I want to... I, I really want to build something for food. Uh, ration box. Microbe musher. So this is the first thing. It basically just uses... I'm sure it literally just uses... Like mud and water to make food somehow. It's probably best that they don't think about that. Um, for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna basically punk everything on this top level. Uh, I don't. You know, is there any particular reason why I shouldn't put the uh, poop production next to the food production? I don't see that being a problem. Answer on the postcard if you think that's a problem. Um, let's just do this and dig out. You get all this. Look at my guys. They're so they're so quick and efficient when I'm at three times speed. Next duplicate still a way off though. And actually, oh, beds. We still haven't got to bed. Let's. You know, we're gonna. Now I've got this little placey spot set up a little bit up here. Um, base. No, it's furniture, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just give them some cots up here. I suppose the fewer days they end up. Sleeping on the floor, and we'll make a fourth one just in anticipation of someone else arriving. Yeah, I really should put a ladder there. It'd be far more efficient if I did that. Oh, did someone make it to bed? Yay! Oh, look, like uh, Bundy's in the bed, and OG's like a little puppy dog, like sleeping at his uh, <laughs> at the foot of his bed. How sweet! <laughs> Uh, that's out of it. Like I say, if you've played Don't Starve, this like it's no surprise that this was made by the same company as, as Don't Starve. It's such a uh, it just has that sort of lovely quirky style that Don't Starve has, and it just I don't know. I just think it works really well, to be honest. Mm. Right, this is a vacuum here. Is it vacuum? Yeah, that's vacuum. That's carbon dioxide. 
Oh, oh they're eating. I'm like, what the hell is all that noise about? Come on, guys. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, someone needs to poop. But he's going to go poop. Uh, ah, that's better. <laughs> that is definitely the sound effect he's making. Oh, now Madison. Ah, yeah. And OG. That seat must be quite warm for you, OG. Okay, we've got to keep an eye on this thing because it will actually fill up. As you can see, it's probably about half full. So in another day, we are going to have to come up with a solution for the poop. Uh, why is this not hooked up? Ah, because I failed to connect it. Wait, give me, give me, give me. There we go. What are they doing? Collecting sort of dirt out of it. Right, the other thing I want to do then is get in an oxygen generator. And I'm going to put this up at the top. Uh, so at the moment we only have the al algae oxygen generator. So I'm just going to plonk that there. Uh, la, 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 la. How are we going to get the power to it though? Uh, question is how wide are we going to go? I feel like I want to take this level out to six or six or seven but I don't really want to wait all that time so I think what we're going to do is actually oh I can't put it through rock you know I'm just going to do that for now and then we're going to end that do that We'll see. We'll see how that goes. And, and there may be like somewhere down the line, once I get the research up and running, there may be like grates or something I could put over here. you will allow them to walk straight across, but for the gas to go straight through, that would be nice. If I was... <gasps> I know it's fine. I'm like shit. All my water's draining away. Like you'll see, it's got these really nice feet, like features where the water actually acts like it should do. So this water is going to slowly sort of drip away down to there. Some of it's going to drip away there. But my guys, uh... what are you doing, Budney? You're not really doing anything. Let's uh, dig up this plant while you're there then. Uh, this. Oh, right. So I need to turn this on. We're going to make mush bar. And how do I make it do it forever? Continuously fabricate mush bar if resources are available. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully someone will get to making the food. You know, I'm definitely going to put a ladder in straight away. Let's just commit to that now. Just because... Why is that one a different colour? Oh, unreachable. Well, it will be reachable when they get the ladder built, so that's fine. Uh, wait. Did they... Did I never put that in, or has it been destroyed? I don't know. <laughs> Have I trapped Madison there now? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry, Madison. It was only partly... Uh... <gasps> it was only partly uh, on purpose. Choose a duplicate. Okay, who do we have? Casper... Rosalind Josie. Uh, oh god, he uh, Rosalind has many many things about her. So what are we what are we missing? I got to try and remember. We didn't have much in the way of strength, and I don't think I had any tinkering. So I could do with someone who could tinker. Another hungry person. That's not ideal. Low decor expectations. Uncultured. Grease monkey. Quick learner. Hmm, Rosalind, we're going to have you, and we're actually, I'm actually going to, this is going to be a blast from the past, I'm going to call you Charlie, who uh, is somebody who watched my channel, or used to comment quite a lot on my channel, but I haven't heard anything from him for a while, I know Rosalind technically was a woman, but that hair could be either, uh, and technically they're just printed duplicates, so I don't think gen uh, gender is relevant, um, but yeah, in case you are still around there, Charlie, uh, that one's for you, there you go, let's have her, let's get Spit her out of the 3D printer and get to work. Yes. What are you doing? You're going to make food. That'd be nice if you would. Ooh, you are. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, who is my ladder builder? Madison, I'm a bit concerned about being stuck up here because... Can we... Uh, there is... Where is it? Prioritize. Yeah, this is the thing I said I'd talk about earlier. So everything has a prioritization of five when you do it. But I can actually do click it to this and go, This is really important, people. Get to it immediately. And they should all drop what they're doing now and get get to it. Um, look at that. Look how well and efficiently they work. Madison's still like, Hurry up, freaking douchebag, I'm stuck. 
There we go. Once he does those wall, those tiles in there, and then Madison should be a little bit less pissy about being up there. Yay! There we go, Madison. And get involved. Get involved. Right. Uh, power cabling. We can bring cabling down ladders. I just don't want it. If it's above surface, it just shows up, and it, I just uh, maybe I should just abandon that concept right now. That I'm going to have cables and pipes everywhere in this game. Oh, I like to make it way it makes like a little loopy, cornery bit like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, doke. Right, we are. So we're using up this water here, which is not going to last at all. There's a harvestable mealwood. Ooh, there's two harvestable mealwood. Nice. Uh, harvest this for me. Uh, let's have a quick look at our oxygen overlay. Everyone's asleep, and everyone has a bed this night, which is quite nice. Right, so yeah, you see how the, the carbon dioxide is starting to f form up in these bottom sections? Could just draw a line through there. You know, I'm actually... Is this a vacuum? This is a vacuum here, isn't it? I want to I wanna drain this this here, basically. And I want it really to drain down into here. It's just annoying. If that was vacuum or carbon dioxide, then this would be a piece of piss. I'd just go straight down to there. But I just kind of... I mean, the oxygen, I guess, will get pushed out to the top. You know, let... I, I, the concern I've got right now, this here is the freaking death zone. If I, they, they will hold their breath. It's not like if they go in there now, they will just instantly die. Um, but... They, they have to hold their breath and they can't stay in there for very long, so... There we go. So, yeah, so it just slows down everything. Right, there we go. Nice. That, this needs the algae, which I've been collecting up slowly. Oh, this is full. Oh, shit, we should... Uh, can we see what's in it? Lots of, lots of algae. Right, we should put another one next to it. That might get moved at some point. We'll, like, we'll have a storage room at some point, but... For now, that will do... Let's put in the next layer of this. So that goes there. And we need to go to there. Yeah, let's let them just do that. Who's popping? I can hear someone popping. Uh, so we'll end up with basically... I mean, this is actually five gap. How have I done that? Just because I started four there and went up one, didn't I? Uh, that's four. That's five. So we're actually working on a five gap, which is quite high. It's probably unnecessarily high, but I don't see there's any particular downside in making it bigger. Obviously, apart from the fact that we're going to run out of finite space. Uh, but let, let's just keep that as is. So the gap between that and that is going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. To me, five clear air. Three, four, five. So that will be the first one of those. And let's just dig out a little bit of this. I'm just going to leave that water. I think the water may permeate through that, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful of that. But let's just dig that out for now. If we get this layered thing going on, I mean, I probably maybe even get rid of that. But once I put in the flooring, all the carbon dioxide should seep down through here. That is my thinking. Whether that is accurate or not, we will see. How are we doing on food? 16,500. So we are using it, but we're not dying from it. This uh, is now probably out of reach, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know how much water we're going to end up with here. Look at all these tips. I don't need tips. I'm a freaking expert. Pro YouTuber. Set up an account and everything. Uh... I just love I, love, I just love all the like the style and the art style of this game. I mean, it it's one of these things that like you could describe this kind of thing as as a basic kind of looking game in terms of like when you think back to games from uh, years ago about oh well you know it looks basic like they used to in the olden days, but actually it's still so beautifully detailed to the point that you know your mind is playing tricks on you if you think this is what games used to look like. They didn't look anything like as good as this. You know, just all the tiny little lovely little details and the way everything moves and actually functions. It's just it's just a very, very pretty experience. Um, right. So, let's put in our layer. I figure if we get the basic sort of starting points of each of the 
floors done, then we can just expand out. I mean, these can expand out as far as we like, you know, in theory. I don't know how big the map is, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty, pretty large. Uh, shit, they're going to do that. And they're going to leave the vacuum exposed slightly. Oh, no, it's carbon dioxide. That's fine. That's fine. That's what we want in, in there. Oop. Uh-oh. Damn us. We dropped our thing. Our muck crew in there. There we go. Right, seal it off again. You know, we might as well just put the fucking ladders down. They shouldn't go down there. Unless they need to. And then it will just give a constant point for the uh, carbon dioxide to fall into. <sighs> I love these moments when I start playing games because it's like I feel so confident but I'm probably doing everything completely wrong. But you know, that's better than the point where I realise I've done everything wrong. I feel less sad. Alright, let's have a look at our... Uh, this is producing oxygen using 700 grams of algae a second and producing 600 grams of oxygen. Let's have a look at our reports. So now you can see we are actually starting to add in oxygen. Uh, and okay, we lost a little bit of oxygen yesterday, but not too much. Uh, we have to be aware now though, because um, as far as I can tell, button that one there, which we haven't dug into yet, we have no oxalite anymore. So we have no naturally occurring oxygen. We are literally just breathing whatever this can produce and whatever uh, is already inside of our system. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to plonk down one more of those straight away. Um, and obviously, uh, maybe I should probably be putting them on different floors. But my thinking is, although the oxygen, I believe, will stay higher than the carbon dioxide, it will still over pressurize this room because it actually has you know like you can see there's 1600 grams of oxygen in this block um and you can see it sort of drops as they move away down here is a lot less oxygen in in the blocks and down here is even less and down here is obviously none uh if you look at doo -doo -doo, where was that one i had that was sort of new 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 uh there was one anyway that was really low so to the point that it was unbreathable even though it was still oxygen. Um, now these will overpressurize and eventually the oxygen will get pushed downwards. Um, but I think I need to put in some more. I will need to put some more on the lower levels as well because barely, yeah, this is this is drifting into barely breathable. But that's possibly maybe just because of the proximity to this carbon dioxide. Can I... It's take me a little while. I just want to like expand this out into a bit more of a well. Actually, we need to put a ladder in there, otherwise they're going to get fucking stuck down there, aren't they? Yeah, they'll have to, you'll see they'll kind of go down there and hold their breaths, and then they'll have to rush back to where there's oxygen and, and take a breath. And once they go into an area where they can't... Oh, it's still barely breathable down here. Yeah, you can see my oxygen is kind of drifting into it at the same time. Uh, this here is getting to a point of being really, really bad. Uh, if we prioritise... Let's just prioritise these here. Like that. That way, that, that will flood down into this oxygen zone here. And hopefully the carbon dioxide will flood down and the oxygen will probably push back upwards. A lot of algae around still, which is nice. Yeah, you see, he's, he's there. He, he ran out of a uh, ran out of oxygen. <gasps> shit! Literally, oh, oh shit! is almost full. Um, right, we need what we need for that is a composter. So we can go upward. So I think what we're going to say is everything this floor and down is going to be our grimy industry type stuff and ideally getting worse and worse as we go down um, so I'm gonna have to plonk in a uh, composter somewhere uh, just go ah fucking hell I keep forgetting that I, uh, it's not like a dragon release thing oh oh gee fell asleep and oh gee I need I need to put a block there There's too much shit in the way I think yeah, uh, <laughs> it really doesn't want to do a, a block there I really need them to start clearing up. Uh, sweep, I think. Deco the floors and get rid of everything. Yeah, we still have plenty of storage space. Get rid of all that stuff for me, please. 
Charlie is just a beast. How we... Ooh, we have shit tons of food. That is really nice to see. Uh, compost. Shit. Uh, I just thought, I bet we don't have the composter yet, do we? Um, plumbing. Large pipe. Gas vents. Refinement. Ah, shit, no. Okay, we need research first. I have underestimated our requirements. Gas permeable tile. How interesting. Ooh, gas permeable tile. That's what I need to put in there, isn't it? So that they can walk straight across, but the gas will still fall through it. I am clever. Station, right. Research station. So you have a basic research station and a supercomputer. So if we put the basic one down. This doesn't produce any nastiness, I don't think. So I'm not going to put it up there because I want to keep that for a bedroom. I'm gonna, we're going to plunk it down next to... How big is the supercomputer? The supercomputer is free. Uh, we're probably going to keep some of this space here for additional power stuff. Uh, this power generation is going to have to move. The batteries, I think, can stay up here. I'm not worried about that. But the later power generation is more more filthy than the, the starting ones. Actually, let's let's put research up here. Let's put the research over here. And then doop, 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 and doop. I do love the sound effects of this game. I I, th I really like to meet the people who made this game, and, and because I feel like they would be quite quite interesting characters, if uh, if the, the sort of sense of humour and styling of this game is anything to go by. Right, how's the water going? We are we are getting through that water. The next one to get to will be this. Uh, there we go. So yeah, all of that. Carbon dioxide fell down. Once we get this dealt with, that should help with that situation as well. This is... Ooh, this is barely breathable out here. Ooh, everything's barely breathable. We probably should put some more oxygen generation in. Um, I'll tell you what, once they sweep up all this, we'll put another oxygen generator on this level. The main thing I'm just concerned about is I don't want them to go to bed with no oxygen. I feel like that could cause issues down the line. Oh, Madison straight back to work. Um, I think I might, I'm gonna let me make this one then. We're, we're gonna turn this one off for a second. Do that? No, no. How do I? How do I? How do I? Disable building. There we go. So you'll hopefully finish that that poop off. That looks so appetising. <laughs> it's like a green turd being squeezed out of that machine. Uh, la, 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 la. How much space have we got in here? Hopefully we've got enough just to clear this space up here. Can I put my tile in yet? Nope. Do I... No, I have fucking thousands and thousands of sandstone in storage. Oh, oh, no. Quick, there we go. Oh, it's... What's this? There's something there, that's why. Dig that up. That's why I'm getting confused with myself. So I didn't actually have to pick up all that stuff, but it's nice to tidy up. Nice to not have a complete shit hole that we're living in. Bottled water? We're leaving bottled water lying around. <gasps> uh oh. Wait a minute. We have problems. <laughs> we, you know what? Let's. Uh, there. <laughs> this is this is problem. Uh, plumbing. Outhouse. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna flank the uh, the food maker with with poop holes. I don't know, but Budney's. I don't think that's gonna help Budney. You can't just unblocking doesn't help when it's full. That's not not how it works. You can't just unless he's just compacting. It. <laughs> uh oh uh oh. Uh oh. Right. We need this. Is, this is what I was talking about. I think maybe in the last episode. Phil, having they're all gonna be pooping on the floor now. Oh. Okay, what, what do we do with contaminated dirt? Did you see, like, now nah, this is going to start making horrible gas. Uh, contaminated oxygen, contaminated, yes, yeah, see? This is, this is problem. This is very much problem. My whole sort of collecting, I mean, I should probably extend down into here as well, just link these two up. Because currently this is this whole oh wow this is a nice big oxygen thing here we should get. 
yeah, this, this whole collecting thing is actually working quite well because it's just that we have too much, too much uh, shitty gas and not enough nice gas right now. Oh, why is this? Is this? Oh, we have a person. Shit, I've not been paying attention. Um, hmm. Who? What do we want? Cooking? That'd be nice. We do have people who can do cooking. Uh, we got tinkering last time, so we're not too worried about that. Ooh, a good learner. We should probably get. Should we get that for a level seven scientist? What are you? Can't dig. So she can't dig, but I don't really mind that because you're. So you're going to be our our researcher. Uh, Mima, I quite like that as a name actually. Uh, you know, we, Mima, you you can keep your birth name. Uh, not at all because I haven't looked at my comments to see who else I should call people. But anyway, I ignore that. Um, but yeah, Mima, welcome, welcome to the colony. We um, open research. We have research available. Right, I want to get the composter, which I think is in here, isn't it? Compost. Yep. Yeah. Get to that straight away, Mima, please. Speaking of which, me ma, me ma, me ma, we need to make sure just uh, five, seven, okay, just, you're just doing this, I don't want you, can't dig, we already know that, deliver you can do, Yeah, you know, for now, I just, I just literally want you to do research. I'm literally going to take you off everything else, I'll put you on compost just in case we get a poop emergency. Uh, why are you no fabrications queued? Uh, do forever, I guess. Okay, so it just creates one research. Still concerned that we have this pile of poop just lying here. We at least have a second toilet to take the uh, the pressure off, should we say? Right. Base. Tiles. Hmm. Let's uh, let's do what we said we were going to do, and you know, actually, let's just do this. Actually, no, 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 cancel that. Wait, people are talking. What's that? Oh, <laughs> shit. Sorry, uh, Bima. Where were you sleeping? Uh, Bima. Bima. Where did you? Ah, there you are. You're sleeping. Oh, look at that. She's sleeping at her research table. I, I approve dedication to the work. Uh, let's go here because this this room down here is actually fairly fairly livable. They've got pretty good oxygen in there right now, more or less. It's getting a bit bit nasty at that end, but at least I'll be getting a breath on the way in. Do that. That's going to help flood all of our shittiness downstairs. Nice. This this over here looks like hell. Look at all this slime. What are you slime for? No idea. How are we doing? Like, let's have a look at our supplies right now. Food is okay. Obviously, we turn that thing on, so I do need to keep it a little bit careful. Liquid's not bad. Raw materials is loads. Uh, where is organic? I'm guessing. Okay, we 1,700 kilos of algae. That's not too bad. But I do want to put in another oxygen generator. Hmm, do I put it here? Like, uh... You know, I think I am going to put one... There. there we go, a loop! Alright, let's get that one done, and then I think we're going to have to think about wrapping up. Oh, they did that very quickly, nice. Yeah, that's good, because we're going to need to come down here and get the water at some point. And that's going to keep pushing more and more carbon dioxide down here and raising the pressure down here. Which will then hopefully stop push the oxygen out. So that oxalite has now finished producing. This is, must be really really come high uh, pressure oxygen in here because that oxalite has been just producing into a closed thing. Look at that. Well, I mean, this obviously the oxygen down here is not great. But we have no carbon dioxide within our base now, which is really nice. Or not, well, sorry, not within our living area, shall we say. Let's extend that out to them. Completely fuck it up as usual. Don't you dare build that one. There we go. 
Okay, so guys, I am going to have to wrap this episode up there. So next episode, sort of continuing on, um, we're going to have to decide what the hell we're going to do with this, because I need to get this, get rid of this, basically. And I'm thinking my best route... It's kind of annoying that this is like it is here, because this is just going to try and drain in here, but we might... I might just dig a tunnel across to here and try and let this oxygen escape out into the base that way. And then we'll we'll come in and dig a line down here, suck the carbon dioxide down to there. And once we've kind of got the best out of this oxygen, we'll then feed the carbon dioxide down through it. Or maybe I just cut my losses and let it, you know, fill. Now I have a bit of a reservoir system going. I just filter it down. To be honest, though, uh, I'm asked. Oh, yeah, it is. Choices, choices. I think probably there is, as I say, down in this area once I get this fully operational. And I think my final kind of reservoir will go down another layer. I'll have another floor before I do it. Um, we'll, there are things which I can put in there which will convert this back into oxygen. So that will be the, the end game. But obviously I need to get the research done before that. So, yeah, next episode I think just general expansion. and just see where we end up. Is this working? I am hooked it up. Yeah, I am hooked it up. But yeah, that's it, guys. I am certainly going to have to fill those. I am one really, really long. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this series. As I said uh, in the previous episode, this is kind of a first impression series. I am going to be recording a batch together and putting them out to see how you guys think about it. Uh, so, But please do give me comments and feedback and stuff like that. And certainly let me know if you want to see more of this. Um, you know, that is how I will judge whether I come back and record on this, is uh, whether or not people show an interest in it. Because if no one wants to watch it, there's not much point in me recording it. I'll just play it for myself. But for now, guys, that is going to do it. So I have been Timmy. And this has been Oxygen Not Included. I uh, hope very much you're enjoying uh, this look at this game. And I hope very much you'll check back for the next episode.